What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC video. Today we need to talk about Regulation F and what that means for the future of competitive Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. We got the official rule set announced and it's got some interesting little variables and things to note regarding what is going to be taking place during Regulation F and I want to talk about it here today. So if this is your first time here on the channel, make sure you are sub for more videos like this in the future, but let's get into it. All right, so I got us over here on Serebii, and I'm not going to get into like what Pokemon I think are going to be fantastic in the new format because I already made a video talking about that. I made a video talking about returning Pokemon and which ones I thought would be awesome. You can check that video out separately. However, there are some interesting tidbits that we could talk about in regards to the future of competitive Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet based on the information that we have here. First and foremost, this is the new format that will be dropping in January, much like Regulation E did when the Teal Mask came out right we got teal mask in september a month later we got the new format we're getting the indigo disc in december and a new format's dropping in january that gives us plenty of time to play the dlc have a good time with it see what the dlc has to offer explore enjoy ourselves and honestly the dlc is sounding amazing i've been watching a lot of previews and stuff for it and it sounds fantastic i'm very excited for it i plan to stream my entire playthrough of the dlc it's gonna be super fun i'm really looking forward to it it is like all double battle oriented so i'm gonna actually make a competitive team that uh will be fun to play through the dlc with it's gonna it's just gonna be a really cool dlc but um it's it's just looking like uh basically what the teal mask had in store for us right so we get the dlc a month later after we have time to catch the new pokemon see what the dlc is about test some things out here's the new format here's new pokemon you can use that kind of deal right it is still a non-restricted format which i am a fan of honestly restricted formats are my least favorite format in competitive pokemon i find them fun for a short amount of time however once they kind of take place because usually it's about a year for the restricted format that's what happened in sword and shield that's what's happened in the past right they do the first game and that's more of the regional decks and then you know like the ultra sun and moon come out and then that's the more expanded formats with the restricted pokemon it's just not my speed i just find it it gets very boring very quickly because you kind of are forced into using a lot of those pokemon um i'm keen to do it for the channel mainly uh just because uh, i've dipped into it back when i was playing sword and shield i was mainly building more meta teams now i'm building more off meta stuff so i'm keen to see what i could do with more of the off meta legendaries but i it's just a format that i'm not a fan of so i'm looking forward to it not being restricted however i think we can speculate when restricted pokemon are going to start sprinkling into competitive play so this regulation will be running from january 4th to april 30th this is a four month format it is the longest one that we have had thus far far this is something to note this is a very very long format and leads us to believe that the next regulation will also be a four month regulation so regulation g will take place from uh may 1st all the way through worlds right that would take us right through worlds and that'll be the world's format i think that's very interesting uh, and it's curious to think about what that is actually going to be. Now, there are some speculation that there's going to be like a re one restricted format. Like that's what they did in uh, Sword and Shield. There was a format where you just played with one restricted Pokemon. And that's possible, but I think that's less likely considering what we've seen out of Scarlet and Violet thus far. And I want to explain that. So as far as Regulation F goes, we're going to have a new competitive format with Pokemon released in the Indigo Disc, a bunch of returning Pokemon, as well as new Pokemon. So things like Whimsicott, Metagross, uh, as you see in the uh, promotional image here, Archaludon, that's one of the new Pokemon that's getting added. We also have the Diplin evolution that's not yet confirmed, but we know is coming because of the Eviolite. And there is rumor that there is other new Pokemon that are going to be added. Now, in regards to a lot of those new Pokemon, many of them are likely to be restricted, and we won't immediately have access to them, much like Terrapagos. Um, so that is just something to consider. There's a fair chance that Terrapagos will be fair play, uh, just based on the fact that Ogre Pond was, but there's always that off chance that we don't get to play with it initially. So that's just something to consider as far as the new Pokemon go. But as you can see here, we got a list of all the returning Pokemon that have been confirmed through trailers and means like that. So that is just something to note. For example, all the starters are returning. We already know that's a thing. So all those are going to be allowed in play in Regulation F. 
but there are some still hidden Pokemon that we don't know 100% are returning. They're probably available through leaks. However, I've not looked at any of the leaks myself, so I don't know exactly what is returning yet in the Indigo Disc, but a lot of these will shake up the meta. But what does that mean for Regulation G? What is Regulation G? Now, like I mentioned, people are speculating it could be a single restricted format. However, what I believe will be more likely However, based on what we have seen already, based on the fact that Walking Wake and Iron Leaves have still not been made legal in competitive play, there's a fair chance that the new ones, Raging Bolt and Iron Crown, and whatever the Entei and Terrakion versions will be, will also not be available off the rip. It'll probably lock behind raid events, much like they were with the other two. And because of this, there is a chance that these Pokemon will be hidden from us until whatever regulation g is i don't think that these are restricted pokemon i think that they are simply holding off on these until they are more readily available because that's the problem with the other two as of right now is that walking wake and iron leaves were locked behind those raid events and you could only catch one however i feel like when indigo disc drops they'll either be available at a higher rate maybe they'll do like a weekend much like they do with the uh spotlight outbreak stuff where you can catch a ton of them uh, or they'll do uh, more consistent rate events where you can catch more than one. This would allow all the players to be able to get their hands on as many of these as they need for competitive play and allow us to be able to actually build with them rather than just be locked to one. And I think this is a fair thing to assume that those Pokemon will then be available in Regulation G and that'll be that format. After that, we have kind of a little gap period right if we go until August we have a little gap until the end of the year and then world right I think the safest assumption from there would be that we have a restricted format with a single restricted Pokemon right we take one restricted Pokemon say like Kyogre Torn right instead of like having multiple maybe like Kyogre Zacian like was very popular or Groudon Zacian that was very popular in Sword and Shield we'll have one restricted Pokemon so like Kyogre will become uh available for play but you can only have kyogre and that will be the format from september until the end of the year in 2024 after that once we hit you know the new year that is when they will add the double restricted pokemon right you'll be able to play with two restricted so you can run your groudon zacians your ern dialgas you know all that stuff with two restricteds up until january of 2025 to the end of the year and that will be the end of scarlet and violet so i that's my theory based on what we've seen so far and how they have been handling the regulations in scarlet and violet is that we'll actually have double restricteds in 2025 for the entire year and then that gap period before competitive play starts in whatever the new game is will be much like it was in sword and shield where they allow the mythical pokemon in and it's like the unofficial regulation prior to the release of the new game because i think that uh generation 10 will come out in 2025 and that's going to be the new format the new game that is going to take over competitive play that's my speculation and that's what i think is the most likely scenario so next we have regulation f that's all the indigo disc stuff minus the restricteds and minus a couple pokemon here and there regulation g will introduce a lot of the lesser available pokemon looking at the legendary paradox pokemon and then we will migrate into more restricted formats after those end and then 2025 will be exclusively double restricted formats until the new game comes out we'll likely get black and white remakes by then maybe a new legends game and just to kind of hold us over and that will be the world's format for 2025 will be scarlet and violet double restricted that's my theory and that's what i think makes the most sense as far as competitive play goes but i'm keen to see what everybody else has to say let me know your thoughts in the comments below but that is really it for this video i just kind of wanted to make a quick little talking point video to speculate what could possibly be coming for the future of competitive play i think this is really exciting and i just i'm looking forward to it especially because we do have new restricted tools that we can use looking at like the pelkia and dialga origin forms um we also have other stuff that will just be popping up like horidon and Maridon that we haven't had a chance to play with yet so there's a lot of really cool pokemon that i am keen to see be able to be used and how they function in the meta um also just seeing the return of shadow rider calyrex is going to be really cool because i think that will be the death of fluttermane so a lot of cool stuff coming and i'm keen to see what each thing has in store for us like i said indigo disc is coming out next week and i will be streaming the whole thing and then we'll be back on the grind doing competitive battles and having a good time so if you're keen for that make sure you are subbed hit the bell all that fun stuff so that way you know when new videos are dropping but that is going to be it for this one guys i hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like and sub for more competitive pokemon content from me every single day 
and check out the discord people over there hanging out sharing teams doing all that fun stuff all the time so check that out and if you want to see anything else from me check out any of the videos that you see here on screen but until next time peace